Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're venting our rage as we try to contend with the enemies in video games that are somehow way harder than your average boss. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Brutes, Dead Space. While the bosses that Isaac Clarke encounters aboard the infected spaceship Ishimura are indeed horrifying, they aren't exactly in the realm of difficulty. Even the immortal hunter you can just freeze in place with stasis and run away from. But the brute? Whole different story. This thing is a sponge for damage, and even if you manage to freeze it in place, you're often stuck in inescapable arenas. Unless you're nimble on your feet and are willing to empty all your clips, then Isaac is in for a brutal ending. Symbiotes, Spider-Man 2. Tell him he's having that extra symbiote strength right now! As embarrassing as it might be to say, Venom's minions were way harder to deal with than the big bad himself. After they start popping up all over the city, both Peter and Miles are presented with a new level of challenge. As the hordes of symbiotes prove themselves to be stronger and more durable than anything thrown at them thus far. Especially when they attack in a group. Did Harry turn these people into symbiotes somehow? Between the snipers and tanks, those last few side missions proved themselves to be the most grating to overcome, far more than the likes of their creator. Shark Giants, Bloodborne. Forget about the great ones. Forget about the hunters. These dwellers of the deep are the true horrors that lurk at the heart of From Software's gothic masterpiece. Not only are they terrifying to behold, but these things refuse to go down, taking hit after hit before lashing out with swings that will diminish your health before you know it. They also aren't afraid to hunt in pairs either. Seriously, we'd happily tango with Lady Maria any day of the week rather than have to face these anthropomorphic sharks ever again. Big Daddies and Big Sisters, Bioshock and Bioshock 2. We won't deny that the Splicers and other residents of Rapture are creepy to behold, but if you're giving us a choice of facing them or the colossal sentient guardians with inbuilt giant drills, yeah, no contest. If you want to get by in this undersea hellhole of a city, then at one point or another, you're gonna have to get in the ring with a Big Daddy or their sleeker counterparts known as Big Sisters. Both are ridiculously tricky to kill, even if you're armed to the teeth with a heavy arsenal and crazy powers. We still get shivers every time we hear one of them charging towards us. Golden Lynels, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. All across Hyrule, there are plenty of beasts and mechanisms looking to send Link into another centuries long sleep, but few come close to the Lynels, especially the breed encountered in Master Mode. The Golden Sheen isn't just an aesthetic choice, it's a clear indicator that if Link wants to try his luck, then he's in for a rough time. Faster, stronger, able to lash out with consecutive bursts of flame. Unless you've got that perfect dodge mechanic down to a T, then chances are you'll struggle against these Lynels far more than against Ganon. Honey Badgers, Far Cry 4. Granted, all the bosses in Far Cry 4 range from meh to terrible, but even then, these little bastards are a terror in their own right. You'd think among the vicious beasts wandering the landscape, the crocodiles, bears and eagles would be the only ones to fear. Nope, it's the honey badgers. These little balls of fur and fury are speedy, harder to shoot at, and will cut away at your health way quicker than any of Pagan Min's henchmen. Come armed with a hunting bow or a rocket launcher, honey badgers truly do not care. Cazadors, 
Fallout New Vegas. On the strip, all you've got to worry about is who is quicker on the draw. But out in the wasteland, there are monsters that will have you running towards the nearest vault. Giant flying insects are bad enough, but the Cazadors are a special kind of awful. Not only do they attack in swarms, but their stingers will do far more damage and unleash far more poison than anything else around. And that's not even counting their variants, which come in a variety of sizes, just in case you weren't uncomfortable enough. Malboro, Final Fantasy X. A staple of the franchise, and an unwelcome one at that. Marlboro is one of those enemies that never gets any easier, but by far, one of his most vicious incarnations comes in the 10th mainline entry. If you're foolish enough to pursue it, or unlucky enough to be ambushed by it, there's only one thing you need to be aware of. It's bad breath. Hope you're fond of status effects, because one whiff of that breath and you're due a heaping helping of silence, darkness, slow, poison, confusion, and berserk in a single batch. Would like to see Sin pull that off. Regeneradors and Iron Maidens, Resident Evil 4. Leon Kennedy is a man of focus, commitment, sheer will, and fabulous hair. But even all that wasn't enough to protect us from the abject terror of encountering these monstrosities. As their name might suggest, Regeneradors, well, regenerate. At least until you shoot them in a specific spot, which can only be revealed by either a hell of a lot of bullets or a special scope. The Iron Maidens, on the other hand, are worse, because they've got all of that and can unleash a blizzard of spikes out of their bodies on the verge of death. Sadler and his cult are pieces of cake when compared to the threat of being confronted with either of these in an enclosed space. Revenants, Elden Ring. An enemy so devastatingly strong that they even guest starred as a mini boss at one point even up against the demigods and other hellish beings that call the lands between home. The Revenant is a special kind of scumbag. Not only is it just unsettling to look at, the way in which it lashes out with such speed will easily overwhelm any unprepared tarnish. Sure, it's weak to healing incantations, but how many builds have that on standby just in case? You'd think running away would be the obvious solution, but then you remember these things can teleport. Makes you question if being the Elden Lord is really worth it after all. Which of these video game enemies did you in the most times? Let us know in the comments. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.